Jefferson Community and Technical College. And I noticed that I probably beat the recording up, so I'll introduce myself again. I'm Jimmy Kidd with Jefferson Community and Technical College. And uh, I am here to kind of direct traffic tonight and let some of our um, business and technology and public service programs um, talk about their programs. Before we get started, I do want to let everyone know I've been um, talking about this every night. This is my only thing that I talk about before I get out of the way and start answering questions at the end. And that is make sure that you apply for the Evolve 502 if you are a Jefferson County uh, Public School graduate this year. That is if you're graduating in May of 2021, we want you to apply for Evolve 502 at evolve502.org. That is a free community college education at any of the community colleges here in the state of Kentucky. So please don't miss out on that. Some of our programs that we'll be uh, discussing tonight are also part of the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship. So if you are not a Jefferson uh, County Public School graduate, please look into the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship because some of the programs that are going to be discussed tonight uh, are eligible for that. And that also is a free tuition uh, for um, the community colleges here in the state of Kentucky. Tonight, if you have questions about the admissions process or something uh, outside of that student services related, myself or Elizabeth Teer are here from the admissions office to help answer. Uh, and I'm gonna get started with the programs. So uh, what we will be doing is I will be playing these videos and then we will turn it in, turn it to uh, the different program leads after at the end of each video. Can't see your screen, Jimmy. Oh, oh, can't see my screen. That's the first time I haven't shared my screen. Go figure, right? Thank you, Drew. Four nights. And that's the first time that I've done that. I guess three nights for me. All right, well, hopefully everybody will forgive me. Let's try this again. All right, there we go. I wanna bring us back to the beginning. I apologize about that. Elizabeth can make fun of me in tomorrow's team meeting. to turn it over to Helen Davis with Business Administration. Hi, I'm Helen Davis. I'm the Program Coordinator for Business Administration. I'm really excited that you're joining us tonight. Our program is a two-year program designed for entry-level managers. Um, it helps you get into the bank field of banking, retail management, restaurant management, and we have a lot of students who graduated from our program who've worked their way up in management at UPS. One of the other things that our program focuses on is starting your own business. Many students want to be an entrepreneur. They want to have their own business. Uh, maybe they are working for a company and they have an idea of turning a product into a finished product that they can launch for their business. Our program can help you with that. So if you're working for a company, and I realize this, your students and you're thinking about your careers long term, and maybe you want to work for a company initially, and like I said, eventually be your own business owner, that's a route you can go with our program as well as, like I said, the entry level careers in banking, small business, entrepreneurship, uh, retail, uh, and restaurant management. 
One thing about our program, it is a 60 hour program. And we also, with our two year program, you can transfer to Western Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky, Moorhead, Murray. We have a lot of two plus two programs and our program is completely online. So you can then take your courses and work as well as completing your courses then online, as I said. Plus, like I said, you can then transfer to a four year school when you're finished with our program. Any questions? Well, I hope you are as excited about our program as we are. We think it's a real stepping stone and a way to get your foot in the door in business and again, work your way up uh, into management and be a successful uh, business person. Thank you. Thank you very much, Owen. Oh, it does that every time. Next up is Computer Information Technology. Okay. Computer Information Technology, we have Robert Reedley. Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm very excited uh, that you have joined us tonight. I'm Professor Robert Reedling, and I'm the coordinator for the Computer and Information Technology Program. Uh, I'm going to tell you about the different tracks that we have uh, in the program. Uh, next slide. So we have uh, six different main tracks in the program. One of the tracks is business software and support. Uh, in, in, in this track, uh, you have three different specialist uh, areas you can go into, business software specialist, which will, you'll learn a lot about the office software. And then there's computer support and software support uh, for learning um, to be able to work in, say, a help desk area. Uh, then we have the information security track, uh, which covers uh, everything about security, networks and security. Next slide. Then we have the internet technology track, which covers web programming specialization and web administration specialization. So learning how to build web pages and, and administer web pages. Then we have the network administration track, uh, which has two sequences, one with the Microsoft Windows administration and the other with the Cisco Networking Association specialization. Next slide. Then we have the programming track, which covers uh, uh, the programming information system specialization, which you know has some, more of a business background in programming. We'll you know, take a couple of business classes in that track, and then we have the programming software development specialization, which will focus primarily on programming, and you'll learn several different programming languages. Then we have the geospatial technologies track, which covers the learning about drones. And then the general track, which covers the core classes and uh, other technical classes that you can take in the program. So there's also some new certificates that the colleges will offer. One of is the AWS cloud architecture and the other is the mobile apps development uh, certificate. So what I'd like to do now is to show you some information that we have from our college website to, to give you some information about uh, typical salaries. So okay. Okay, so uh, the re for the programming track, uh, you have different uh, salary ranges depending on uh, where you start to the entry level all the way up to the expertise. Uh, so those then if you go down further, you can see for the business software and support, uh, the computer network support specialist, network administration track, uh, internet technology track, and information security track. Uh, so those are the different uh, entry level and, and mean, median salaries. And uh, I want to click on one of the uh, tracks. So let's say the business software and support track. 
uh, just to show you what uh, some of the coursework looks like. Uh, you'll, of course, you'll have your five general education classes. But one of the nice things about the CIT degree is that all six tracks have the same technical core classes. So if you want to bring it up a little bit more. Uh, so everybody is going to be taking the these uh, classes that are under the technical core classes, which include introduction to computing, computer hardware and software, computational thinking, database design fundamentals, level one networking security fundamentals, level one programming and CIT employability studies. So with the core, you're going to get a diverse spread of different areas in the CIT field. And the nice thing about the fact that everybody is taking the same set of core classes is this makes it easy for you to change from one track to another early on. So let, let's say that you just decide to start out with a programming track and, and you decide that you maybe are more interested in the networking area. After taking some of the core classes, you can easily switch over to that. And so th this is just showing some of the other classes. Each track will have its own set of specializations of classes that you can take uh, depending on the area. And, uh, and so you would take, uh, you would choose to take one of the following sequences, either the business software specialist computer support sequence or the software support sequence. So if you'd like to get some more information about some of the other tracks, uh, you can go to the Jefferson uh, website that's at jefferson.kctcs.edu. And then when you get into the website, you can do a search for computer and information technologies, and that will bring you to this page that we're looking at right now. So uh, does anybody have any questions? Let's see, let's see some on the chat. Okay. Any questions from anybody? Well, thank you. I'm really happy that you joined us tonight. And if you have any questions, uh, if we want to go back to the slide that had my contact information on there. Yes, there is my contact information below. Uh, I can be reached at robert.reedling at kctcs.edu or at 502-213-2387. And I look forward to uh, hopefully having some of you come to join the program very soon. Thank you. Next up, we have culinary arts. And we have a very special guest uh, to discuss uh, culinary arts. Uh, Helen Davis is back with us. Thank you, Helen. Hi, I'm glad to be back and talk about culinary arts. It's kind of near and dear to my heart. Most people do not know that our culinary arts program is actually the oldest program in the state. It was started in 1975 by Chef Colgen, who was the last living individual to study under Scoffier, who is the most famous chef in the world. Uh, he was a French chef. The program was founded on French cooking and we won many, many awards. We have some very famous alumni, the Grassani family, uh, which have owned many restaurants in Louisville. Um, several of their members were actually Jefferson graduates. Um, Dan Fearing, who is a famous chef in Texas, is also one of the Jefferson graduates. Our program, our program graduates have worked in all restaurants in Jefferson County. We specialize in farm to table, baking, um, regular, um, it's called garmage, which is just kind of foo-foo cooking. And so you can start off as an entry level baker, a sous chef, 
uh, a line cook. We really covered the gamut. We also have an area now of concentration for people who want to start their own catering business. They can work with my program, which is business administration. So you can take your cooking courses under the Colony Arts program and then finish up with your business courses. So if you want to have your own catering business, then you can be successful by attending Jefferson and taking courses under Colony Arts and the business administration. Our program is also the first program in Kentucky that was certified by the American Culinary Institute. So that's kind of a feather in our cap. Um, you have to go through reaccreditation every five years. They send a team in to look at all aspects of your program and your graduates. And again, we've been very successful in that area and our um, certification dates to the 1980s. Another area that we were successful in uh, was placing people at Disney World to be chefs. So we were the first college in Kentucky to do that. So we've had quite a few first with their Colony Arts program. We have a new program coordinator for Colony Arts. She started in January and we're excited to have her with the community of Jefferson. And I know that she's going to take it to a new higher and better level. And she's looking at more farm to table. Uh, sourcing more local businesses to provide us uh, products. And so I hope you will really seriously consider the Colony Arts program because you'll find it's a wonderful program and you'll be able then to achieve the necessary skills to be a successful chef. Are there any questions? No? Well, again, welcome then to the Colony Arts Program. Hope you seriously consider Jefferson. Thank you. Thank you very much, Helen. Really appreciate that. Next, we have Communication Arts. Jimmy, I wonder if I could back you up on this for a minute. What's going on, Terry? What you need me to do? Uh, it's it's really jumping and skipping a lot of parts on my machine. Is it doing that the same for everybody? Uh, I, I'm not even getting any audio, audio on this. Uh, would you mind if I play this uh, on my machine and see how it goes for people? Can I share my screen? Um, Elizabeth, can you let Terry share his screen real quick if it's? Yes. Um, Jimmy, you'll just have to hit stop share and then Terry, you'll need to click share screen. And where did it go? Okay, here we go. Thank you. 
Okay, uh, so I wanted to play that. Um, I wasn't sure how much you were going to play, uh, Jimmy, uh, in its entirety. Um, but uh, I wanted to play the whole video uh, because uh, two of our video students put that together in about three days. And they put it together for uh, the SACS team that was coming here, uh, I think it was last year. Uh, and uh, um, SACS is our accrediting body uh, for the college. And they did a, just a bang up job on that. And that, that really highlights the program and a lot of the samples, a lot of the work that the students do in the program um, just really well. And then um, another thing uh, that I wanted you to see is our program website. Uh, this, is, uh, uh, this, is, this is for Communication Arts Technology Program. The address is at jctcart.com. And you can find uh, some of this information on the Jefferson website, but going to the program website, it's built for the students and by the students and for the students use uh, while they're here in the school. And they have everything from um, their, their basic uh, uh, tools that, that the college provides for Blackboard and uh, their student, uh, 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 student center. Um, and then they, they also have uh, events that uh, the program provides uh, for uh, uh, different things, such as uh, like our, our student uh, um, um, student show, annual student show. We actually have a biannual, uh, biannual student show. Uh, and then we have uh, highlights of uh, work that students do who have submitted a um, uh, award uh, uh, submissions to ADDI, uh, which is the Advertising Federation of Louisville. These are some of our recent winners, uh, some of the illustrations that they did, um, and some of the uh, uh, typographic illustrations that they did as well. So basically, this is a, a one-stop shop. You've got everything from your Blackboard, email, student self-service. We've got lots of resources here. Here uh, for the students, uh, we've got uh, uh, student life. Um, we've got uh, nice uh, galleries. Uh, this this goes back to uh, 2003, 2002, somewhere around there, and uh, lots of things that the students participate in. So you can see uh, what's going on in the program. Uh, we've got uh, upwards of 200 uh, advertising awards in the program. Uh, since we first started competing in 2005 um, from uh, the uh, Louisville Graphic Design Association to the Advertising Federation of Louisville uh, to the Advertising uh, Federation, the district level, and uh, just a, a, a whole lot of uh, design work. These are, there are some great examples of what the students are capable of doing in the program and what you're expected to do in the program. Some uh, from uh, beautiful uh, photography to graphic design to uh, thinking out full campaigns and uh, just uh, uh, all kinds of uh, stuff for, for anybody who wants to uh, get into graphic design, uh, commercial photography or web design. And uh, those are all uh, degree options that we have in the program. We have uh, certificate options in uh, digital media and in digital video. Um, our program is not really a transfer program, but a lot of our students do transfer to four-year institutions and they do that uh, based on their portfolio. And when you, when you look at the, the student work, you can see the quality of the work and we do the same uh, kind of quality. We compete with the four-year institutions in these advertising competitions and uh, we, we do as well or better many times as the four-year schools. So we expect a lot out of our students. It is, uh, it is an intense two-year program. And uh, uh, if, if, you, if you wanna get a hold of me, this is the information. Again, the website is jctcart.com. So that's, uh, that's it for me. If anybody has any questions, I'll be glad to answer. Thank you. Thank you very much, Terry.
and I will bring up Trent to me every time, and there we go. <clears throat> Next up is interdisciplinary early childhood education. And we have Susan Allen. Okay. Thank you um, and welcome. Glad you're here this evening. I'm Susan Allen. I'm the program coordinator for the Interdisciplinary Early Childhood Education Program. We offer an associate's degree of 60 to 64 credit hours, and we prepare students to work in the field of child care, early childhood education, um, early Head Start, Head Start centers, um, public private schools. Um, embedded in our program are the opportunities to earn certificates and credentials. We have the child care assistant certificate, which provides the education and, and training and um, we help you build your portfolio if you're pursuing the National Child Development Associate Credential or CDA is uh, how it's often referred to in the industry. Um, we also offer the Early Child Care Administrator Certificate and this qualifies you for the Kentucky Director's Credentials. So if you want to move up in your career from being a child care teacher to an assistant director, you, uh, director um, the Kentucky Director's Credential is, is one thing that you'll need for that. And you can earn that as you're going through our associate degree program. Um, we have some students some of our graduates have been uh, directors of child care centers, um, curriculum development specialists for uh, larger child care um, corporations. Um, some are, are teaching assistants in the public schools. Um, we do coordinate with the education department and Javon Allen will, will talk a little bit more about that in just a few minutes here. Um, if you are looking to teach more in the public schools, uh, kindergarten through first grade, second grade, we, um, that would be more the education route. And we again are for birth through age five. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to contact me. It's uh, Susan Allen, susan.allen at kctcs.edu, or you can call me at 213-2671. And uh, feel free to I'll answer any questions if you have any right now, or, or you can contact me. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Good to see, all right. Next up, we have criminal justice. Stephanie Albertson with Criminal Justice. Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm so glad you could make it this evening. It's such a pleasure to be here. Again, my name is Stephanie Albertson. I'm the program coordinator for Criminal Justice. And during this time, there's a lot of change and reform going on in criminal justice. And many of our classes do discuss that within the program. At JCTC, students are provided with a strong academic program. These include courses in human behavior, such as psychology, sociology, oral communications, theories in policing, corrections, state or local, um, state or federal government. With the general education and criminal justice courses, they do transfer both to the University of Louisville and Eastern Kentucky University. And we have a lot of students who do pursue 
a four-year degree at one of those schools or even other schools for that matter. If I could go on to the next slide, great. For the criminal justice requirements, you do need to maintain a C or better within your criminal justice courses, maintain a 2.0 GPA or better, and your very last class you take is called a senior capstone class. And during that time, you'll also take what's known as a NOCTI exam that you'll need to pass. And your instructor will help you get through that process of preparing for the NOCTI exam. There are four different tracks in criminal justice, and there's the criminal justice track itself, law enforcement, corrections, security and loss prevention. Probably the two most popular tend to be criminal justice and law enforcement. A lot of students are interested in going into law enforcement, whether local, state, or federal, but also with criminal justice itself, students tend to, again, proceed to a four-year degree at another school having their credits transfer. And some of them go on to get their bachelor's and then go on even to get their JD or Juris doctorate to become an attorney. The classes are offered online and or in person. And it's a 61 to 64 credit hours for the degree itself. And Finally, there's also, I gave you some career salaries that were provided here from the corrections track, the entry level, the median, and the expert, law enforcement track, entry, median, expert. And with the median, that is nationwide. So you need to take that into consideration as to what region this may be, the salary might be a little higher. Security and loss prevention track, detectives, and also criminal investigators. I've been asked by students, what are some of the courses that you take in criminal justice? And some of those courses are corrections, juvenile delinquency, criminalistics, law enforcement. There's a firearms class. One of them is an advanced firearms class, computer forensics, criminal justice courtroom procedures, and even criminology. And there's many, many other courses on top of those. But if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me or I'll answer your questions here. And my, the best way to get in touch with me is via email. And my email address is stephanie.albertson at kctc.edu. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Next we have something very near and dear to my heart is most people don't know this. This is actually my background that led to being a director of admissions. I started out as an elementary education major. So here we go. over to Javon Allen. <clears throat> Sorry about that, Javon Allen. Thank you, Jimmy. Good evening, everyone. My name is Javon Allen. I'm the Education Department Head and Program Coordinator at Jefferson Community and Technical College. I am happy to be here to present a little bit about what our program looks like. Um, our program is designed for students that want to start their coursework at a community and technical college with anticipation to transfer to a four-year college or university to pursue a teacher education program. Um, depending on what your personal schedule is like, um, the Associate in Applied Science degree can be completed within a two-year time span if you were able to keep um, and maintain full-time status. Before our students are able to apply to their teacher education program that they want to transfer to, they are required to take the Praxis One exam 
and the courses that you would be taking um, during your time at Jefferson would be preparing you to be successful on that Praxis I examination. Um, for our students that are planning to transfer to a four-year university, um, most universities and colleges want our transfer students to have at least a 2.75 GPA on a four-point scale. Next slide, please. Thank you. Um, there are several courses that our students take while they're with us at Jefferson, but four classes in particular that are on the screen here do require field observation hours to be completed in addition to the coursework that's required during the semester. Um, the one course EDP 203, which is our teaching exceptional learners and regular education classrooms requires 12 hours of observation, but the other three courses that you see there listed require 15 hours of observation. Our biggest partner for field experience hours is um, JCPS. Um, so we have our students go out and actually be able to observe and interact and see what a real classroom environment looks like. Those hours that you would complete and earn during those four classes would count towards the 200 hours that you have to have accumulated by the end of your four year program before you apply for your student teaching before you graduate. Next slide, please. Thank you. Oops, sorry. <laughs> back one. Can we go back to the, there we go. Thank you, sorry. Um, our transfer students typically go to the four colleges and universities that you see here. Most of our students do end up at the U of L, um, but we do send students over to IUS and Spalding. Um, and we are working on a partnership with Bellarmine right now and creating two by two pathways. And what's exciting about what they are offering is um, they're trying to encourage our students to attend Bellarmine by offering, excuse me, a very hefty scholarship opportunity. So that may be something that our education students are interested in pursuing. So when you're thinking about your career choices um, and where your associate's degree can lead you, there's several different pathways that you can take. So with your coursework that you complete at Jefferson um, and in your pursuits to transfer to a four-year university or college, that will start you on the track to pursue an education degree at any grade level, meaning elementary, middle, or high school. Um, once you transfer and get to your four-year program, there you also would have the credentials needed to start pursuing specific areas of the education field. So for instance, if you wanted to go into special ed or be a physical education teacher, or if you were looking for high school um, education and you wanted to specifically teach math, you would have the credentials that are needed to start pursuing those pathways. Um, graduates of the education program also have wonderful transferable skills and um, other careers often look for education majors in the business field, social services, and in training. Um, and then lastly, some of our students don't decide to pursue a four-year degree and transfer to a four-year university. So they take their associate in applied science and they're able to work as a teacher's aide or a full-time substitute in a public school system, an instructional aide, or also as a Head Start teacher or a preschool teacher, um, going back to what Susan Allen shared earlier with the early childhood program. If there's any questions or further information that I can provide, I am more than happy to do that. Um, my email address and phone number is on the screen um, and please feel free to reach out and contact me anytime. Thank you for your time tonight. Thank you very much. Transferable skills, that's, that's right. Director of admissions started out. I, I laugh and say that Third graders and college freshmen are a lot alike. They are exactly a lot alike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, um, I don't believe we have a video. I could be wrong. If I do, Bree, please let me know. 
Bree Wetcher with Human Services. Hi there. And as far as I know, no, I don't think I have a fancy video. We, we could play uh, Terry Letts's communication art <laughs> one again, because that was that one looked a lot better than anything I would do. So <laughs> we'll, we'll just kind of wing it. So don't worry. There we go. I got um, you. Well, as Jimmy said, my name is Bree Wechter. I'm the program coordinator for human services. I teach a majority of the human service classes as well as psychology classes. And for students who are thinking about human services or, or even trying to kind of figure out exactly what it's about, the really awesome thing is it gives you a really wide variety of job opportunities. I have students who are earning their, um, we have the associate in applied science and human services. Some are immediately going into the workforce and they're working with individuals, groups um, in the community. We're looking at some of them going to our education system. So some of the things that um, our program coordinators have been talking about, again, these are transferable skills that go into other job forces. Um, some of them are working in hospitals things in that nature. So one of the things that I want to point out is, again, many of my students go and immediately start working with their human service degree, but I also have quite a few others that transfer on to get their bachelor's. So what's really nice is that you can take field, um, you can take classes that really go towards your major. And feedback that I've heard from our transfer institutions, such as Spalding, um, University of Louisville, Moorhead, Murray State, uh, Lindsey Wilson College, Campbellsville, just to kind of name a few, are that our students who are taking some of these really specific human service classes are actually better prepared for uh, the upper level social work, counseling, and, and mental health field. So again, many of them, if anything that you're interested in with case management, counseling, social work, anything in mental health, public service, that's kind of what we're doing here. So what does all that mean? Well, I've been a therapist for about 20 years now. I, I work with a variety, a lot of clients, all different kinds of people. And I really like bringing the real world experience to the classroom. Most of my students find that they absolutely love, um, you know, working with people, advocating for changes. But then I also have some that are kind of working more towards changing policies, social justice, things that maybe are put into place right now that are creating obstacles for our community. So I have, I have people who like that kind of one-on-one -on -one or group contact, but then I also have people who really enjoy more of the policy and behind the scenes and kind of working with the government or sometimes working against the government to try to make things happen. Um, classes we take, we do have a lot of our general education classes. This is a 60 credit hour, so about 20 classes. Um, but some of our specific ones for human services are I'm teaching um, theories and techniques. We teach a values and ethics course. We teach a, teach a group counseling. And then we offer these online or in-person options. And then one of my favorite things is at the end, we have a internship opportunity that you still get your three credit hours for, but you get to actually go out and um, get placed in the field. So I have people at Seven Counties, Volunteers of America, several of our recovery homes. Um, I've had them really, in fact, I even have a few that are within the JCPS system and kind of getting that real world experience just to make sure, you know, get that sample of, is this something you really want to do and, and making sure you really love it. Um, I already mentioned our students transfer or, again, if you're satisfied with, with what you're doing, then I certainly work with you to get a job right after Jefferson, or I will work closely with you to transfer to whatever institution you're interested in. Um, I, as they said, I don't, have, I don't have a fancy video with my name on it, but if you have any questions, um, you can reach me easiest is by email. It's Bree.wechter, B R E E dot W E C H T E R at KCTCS dot edu. And I will take any questions. Okay. Thank you, Bree. No problem. This is 
uh, going to be the last call for, for any questions about any of our programs tonight or about the admissions process. Uh, I will do one last spill, please. If you're a Jefferson County uh, Public School uh, graduate this year, please, please, please apply for Evolve 502. That's at evolve502.org. Well, did a wonderful job and thank you so very much to everyone. Uh, I know that myself and I'll speak for Drew on this one. We appreciate everyone who has attended and, and helped with these. So thank you all very, very much. It's wonderful to hear. Lots of transferable skills too. It's, it's awesome to hear. So, okay. Well, I'm going to let everyone have, as, as I say in meetings when we get out early, uh, looks like nine minutes back. So you can have uh, nine minutes back of your night. Thank you so very, very much. I really do appreciate it. Have a wonderful night. Have a great night. Thank you.